guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your lead scenting consultant. So today I have for you my May Melting Basket, which I really don't have a clever name for. I like to do a lot of fruity and floral and fun in May. So I tried also to really focus on my licensed bars. I have a whole bunch of them in a particular bin and I rarely remember to melt them or talk about them. So I put a whole bunch of things that were either fruity or floral or both into this particular melting basket and we're just going to have a wonderful time celebrating that first taste of summer and sort of the beginning to end of the best part for me of the spring, which is May into early June. So Let's just get started with a whole bunch of these licensed bars, mostly Disney, that I forget to talk about. So let's start here with Snow White. I know that this one has Apple and Lily of the Valley. Oh, and it's so pretty. This is very light. A lot of the licensed bars that are Disney, especially the ones that center around princesses, they are very sweet. They are very feminine. And this one is no exception. So this is just a gentle bar. Very much like Snow White's personality. So it's got the Lily of the Valley, a little bit of fresh air, and that sweet apple. And of course, we had this for some reason right before Christmas, and it wasn't a terribly large uh, hit because I think it was just the wrong time of the year. So this is the right time of the year to melt and enjoy this. I think I will enjoy it very much. The next one is going to be the last petal, and this was one of the ones for Belle and Beauty and the Beast, which I think we may be getting another product or two of, maybe at the end of the month of May. There's sort of been a couple of things said to us here and there as consultants. So possibly you would get back this last petal bar, which is beautiful. To me, it sort of smells like apricot, but it's supposed to have bergamot and flower petals. And there's one more note, which is escaping me, but it's a very, very nice scent. I would be happy to get more of this. I might even consider clubbing it. This is one of the most beautiful, romantic, but with the bergamot and the flowers, just really ladylike and enjoyable scents that they've made for the licensed bars. And this one, oh my goodness, this is beautiful, you guys. This is going to be Cinderella Happily Ever After. And this bar is gorgeous. This has lemon, it's supposed to be frosted lemon. And it has gardenia and it has forget-me-nots. I have several of this. I am very much looking forward to melting this is one of the prettiest florals I think Sensi's ever produced. It is gorgeous. So that was new last year as a, a thing we hadn't had in a long time. I can't say that it was brand new because they've had that in a collection for the princesses quite a few years ago, but it was new as a single bar offered with the Cinderella collection last spring summer. So then another one that they brought back last year and I put it in my club for a little while is Dumbo. This is such a fun bar. This is a fruity, creamy, wonderful concoction. So this has definitely got things like orange and the juiciness of, I don't know if it's mango and creamy vanilla. This is very nice. It throws very well. I have quite a few of them and I will be melting this happily this spring. So then another one that I got, because to me, it honestly is like fruit cocktail. And this was in clearance for forever. I think they finally gave up on trying to sell all of it was the Muppets. This is not a bar that I would consider very serious. And seriously, it just smells to me like an open can of fruit cocktail plus, whoops, I just dropped the bar. Oh, possibly a nice squeeze of lime juice. It's really happy, especially for this time of the year. So I have three or four of these too. And it's just, just one of those bars that maybe it's not the classiest one since he's ever cooked up, but it's fun. All right, another one. Now this one I typically have to mix or just melt a couple cubes. One of the strongest license bars since he's ever made is the Big Hero 6 bar, which is specifically called Would You Like a Hug? Now, this is a movie that many of you may not be familiar with. It's so, so cute. Baymax is the most charming character. And it's just, it's a great movie. Oh, and my girls and I watched it a lot. We have several friends who have boys that are a little bit younger than my girls, and this was a real hit of a movie for them. So, this is strawberry and marshmallow and vanilla, but it's very strong. It's sort of like if you took sugar strawberry and amped it up and you don't get a ton of the marshmallow notes. So I like to mix this either with maybe sugar cookie or vanilla bean buttercream, or if you have enough toasted marshmallow that you're willing to mix it, that's very good with this. All right, now here's another one. This is the most clubbed bar of all time with Scentsy, and that is Stitch Experiment 626. This is so, so good, you guys. I have quite a few of these. Oh, 
I don't have it in my club anymore because I just bought, I don't know, six or seven of them last year, and that's enough. I'll probably only melt two in a season. This is, I understand why, this is the most popular club to bar. It has sea salt mist, it's got orange, it's got, I think, pineapple, it is sweet, it is tropical, it's lush, it's fruity, it's juicy. It throws pretty well, it's about a medium, and it's just a delightful bar every time you melt it. So then I have not melted Zoinks, which came out last August, and I've been holding on to this. This one is pink pineapple and oranges, I believe. But this doesn't have the depth of Stitch. So I think this is going to be kind of one of those bars that's okay, or maybe I'll add some pineapple mango. I hope it's actually better than what I'm getting, because to me it's a little bit flat in the clam, but I only bought one because what 80s girl does not need some Scooby-Doo in her life? That was like the best show when I was a kid. So, and then the last of all of the character bars is going to be the Mandalorian Air of Adventure, which will be back May the 4th with our new Star Wars re, you know, kind of a remix of the collection. And this is such a good bar. This isn't like any of the others, which are all mostly sweet and fruity and floral. This is herbal. This is such a good bar. And it has sort of a geranium and lavender, and it's got like a whole kitchen sink of ingredients. I just read them all. can't remember a thing. I think there's orange in here too. It's herbal garden fresh, and it's fantastic. All right, so now we'll go on to just regular bars that I wanted to melt in this fruity floral fiesta that we got going on. Aloha Orchid is the scent of the month, but I think it's very appropriate. This is so good, you guys. You've got to try this one this month. Chamomile Petals from last month was very nice too, the April scent of the month. So if you're placing an order and you haven't tried either, maybe get one of Chamomile or two of Chamomile Petals that's kind of softer, but always a comforting. And then get yourself a whole bunch of this if you like fruity. It's lush, it's tropical, it's fruity, it's floral. It's just delicious. I'm very happy with it. Then an oldie but goodie that you can sometimes get in a flash sale, Rainbows and Butterflies. This is a scent my younger daughter really likes. To me, it's like, oh, green strawberry and puckery pineapple. It is, ooh, so sweet tart. There's probably a little bit of like vanilla in here, but yet that green strawberry is so intense that it also comes off like it's got a bite. It's just like a sweet tart. It's like a sweet tart. Rainbows and butterflies. This I think would be super cool, not that you can get it anymore, but with that funny pony pillow that they're selling uh, starting June 1st, which I guess I need to keep my thoughts to myself about that particular product. Bora Bora Blossom. This is just as good, if not better, than Aloha Orchid. I have this one in my club. There are similarities, but there's this creamy lushness to Bora Bora Blossom. It's a little waterier. I know this has orchid in it, which is one of my favorites, and there's purple orchid in Aloha Orchid, but there is like orchid in this. This is such an elegant summer bar. I love it. I keep thinking I'm going to take it out. And I'm like, no, I can't. So I'll probably add Aloha Orchid to one of my clubs and down the road when I get to have to take one out. Bora Bora Blossom will probably win that tug of war. Another one that's in our current Epcot collection is Soft Plumeria. This is a floral powerhouse. Oh, but it's creamy and beautiful Plumeria, you guys. Mm, this is so nice. You guys know I love Lush Gardenia, but I think about that as a spring scent, which I will absolutely melt in, in May, but I think of that as kind of a March, April, May scent. Not that I've melted it a lot because I'm waiting for sunshine, but I put Soft Plumeria in here because to me this leans tropical and makes me think ahead to summer. This is gorgeous, and if you have not tried it and you like florals, please, please do. All right, one that was our April scent of the month in 2022, it came back in the catalog and it's definitely one of my top 10, is Ruby Nectarine. This is so good. This is the perfect balance of juicy, apple, peachy, mango-y with a little bit of floral. It is so lush and juicy. Oh, I absolutely love this. This is fantastic with Tropic Nectar, which I didn't put in here because I'm saving some of my more like really tropical stuff and all my beachy stuff for June and July. We will definitely be doing like a sea, sun, sand, and surf melting basket either in June or July. So then another one that is really nice, and this was summer collection a couple years ago when they put it in the catalog this year, is Blue Agave and Melon. Now some people do not like the kiwi in this. They say it bites. I love it because it's strong and sweet and very summertime. It's so good. So if you want a strong performing bar that maybe you're not super familiar with, pick up some blue agave and melon. 
All right, the next one is one that you can only get in laundry right now, and that is Fiji flower. Now I do find that they smell a little bit different. Oh, it's so pretty though. This is the most beautiful bar. I know that this has apple or cherry blossom. I think it's apple blossom, yeah. Maybe it's cherry blossom, I don't know, it's been too long, but this is like Eastern tropical floral. Absolutely gorgeous, and this is my last bar, and I just need to get over it and melt it, right? Oops, okay, so here's another one, poolside, which maybe I'm a little early for it, but then when I think to put it in my melting baskets and melt it in July, I'm already sick of the tropical fruities, so we're gonna do it now, Havana Cabana. This is a classic that comes back every spring, summer. And it's really happy because it has, I think, the best pineapple note plus the banana and the berries and a little bit of orange. And it's not gross banana. This is happy, happy pineapple banana orange. It's light. It's very bright. It's very nice. So it's kind of soft-ish medium. You might need a couple extra cubes, but if you've not tried that, I'm looking forward to melting that. And then the other one that I love, it's right up there with Stitch. They're similar to me is Mahalo Coconut. Oh, I love Mahalo Coconut, you guys. This is one of my absolute favorite bars. Hawaiian Lay Flower, Creamy Coconut, Pineapple and Violet. It's so good. I am ready to experience my tropical drink scent. It is a favorite of mine. Then for old time's sake, because this is now retired, I threw in a little bit of prickly pear and agave. This is a little bit more green. It's got agave and sheer petals and almost like a succulent type smell. It's really nice. So this should balance all this fruity, fruity, floral, floral we got going on. And my perennial favorite, which I think I've thrown in a couple other melting baskets recently, but I don't care. I melt it all the time. Cocoa Lime, which I will be doing a special video on the 12th. I'm going to release it on the 12th of May. I am going to do a collab with Linda H., she was my very first channel supporter as another consultant and YouTuber. When I first got started, she has a very special place in my heart. She sort of mothers me a little bit, as well as is a fantastic, just a parallel consultant. We bounce things off of each other all the time and we share an indecision problem. So <laughs> we are gonna call it our top 10 for spring, summer, but believe me, there'll be more than the legal number of bars that we can't make decisions on, trust me. Anyway, that's gonna go up on May the 12th and um, this may or may not be in that list. And I said all that, cocoa lime is creamy coconut and lime and to me a little bit of effervescence. It's fabulous, one of my favorite bars of all time. Then I tucked in tangerine creamsicle because this is another one that I wait too long to melt. I will hold on to this, it'll be the end of July and I'll realize I haven't melted it and turning towards August, then I start to kind of think of how I can cheat on melting fall because I'm so done with summer. So tangerine creamsicle is tangerine and cream and mango and it's amazing and you've got to get some. Oh, so good. All right, and then the last two that I'm putting in here because I kept saying that I needed to do my wax war between these two is the beautiful retired summer holiday, which is my favorite spring summer scent since he's ever made, semi club, and mountain sunset. And I'm going to try to melt these on the same day I love summer holiday. I am so glad that I have it, but I don't have a lot of it. So I'm gonna be doing this with, that's got the orange zest and it's got the vanilla and it has amber and it's got tiger lily. Oh, it's so good. With mountain sunset, which is earthier, but there is this powdery, in good sense, mixed floral lushness that both of these share. And the mountain sunset is a new release with the bluebell and the amber and the coconut in the woods. So. That is what I'm going to have in my May melting basket. So it's going to be a very fun, fruity month with me with lots of florals added, but not like classic spring florals, more the fruity florals that you think of as you're pushing towards summer. So let me know what you guys are melting in the month of May, and I will talk to you soon. So this is Elizabeth with Elizabeth Scenes and Sense signing off. Bye-bye.